Now, over the hundreds of thousands of downloads I've gotten for all my UI related profiles, you have been persistent about one feature request, and that is a one button installer for the Quasi UI. And today, after so many years, proud to release my UI installer via this video. So with just a simple one button import, you can have the most optimized UI setup for Mythic Plus and other things in World of Warcraft. If you have been using my UI for years now, I've been making them since Shadowlands, you know my UI consists of various setups of various add-ons. And each of these profiles require you to basically copy and paste a string and you manually import it into the specific add-on. That will be gone now with the one button installer package. And timestamp in this video will be the installation instructions is super simple, no alternate tabbing, everything done within the game. No more manually copying of strings and no more errors because you left a space at the front or at the end, but more on that later. Let me just quickly summarize all the features of this quasi UI installer. The first thing is basically class weak or us, and this installer package includes all the class weak or us for every spec in the game. And this will basically tell you, as you can see in the middle of the screen, all the required cooldowns you need to track, both rotational, offensive, defensive, buff, uptime, procs everything that you need to track for your class. This is the buff bar where it shows procs and buffs. And these are the two customizable rows of abilities that you can track alongside class resources. I already have a very in-depth video covering all the class we Gora related matters. Link to that video in the description. It's also the one that you see on screen right here. The other thing that you folks have grown to love is basically the color-coded plater. So my plater profile over the years have been optimized for Mythic Plus. Anything that is pink is a custom mob that is required to be interrupted. Any mob that has a light blue color means that it does a frontal and you can see that all frontals are colored in this orange red kind of cast bar. It also comes with an audio alert saying front which tells you you need to dodge. Also, all important interrupts that must be interrupted comes in this thick modified orange cast bar. Alongside that, my plater profile also comes with threat monitoring. If you lost aggro on something, if you got an aggro on something, it will flash red. Alongside also the ability to see where your friendly players are standing. For example, I know my DK is standing across me here. Meanwhile, my evoker is standing behind me over here. There's a lot more features in the plater profile. I also have a dedicated video covering all the features of the plater profile. It's on screen, also in description. Feel free to check it out. Now you will also notice that beside all these nameplates, I'm also also tracking the cooldowns of certain important abilities of these mobs. For example, the Raider will do his chain in 20 seconds, the Enforcer will do an AoE bellow at 11 seconds, which then gives us the heads up that you can actually line of sight all these AoE. And you can see as this bellowing shout goes out, the ranged party here, they are moving to line this damage from the bellow. This hook, they also managed to line. You can see we only get pulled because all those who didn't line are pulled. This nameplate cooldowns are all tracked via my big wigs profile. And this is the one that also tells you above the target frame what boss abilities are being queued up next so you can best plan for your abilities and movement ahead of time. This is also included in the Quasi UI installer alongside everything I mentioned so far. Aside from that, some other miscellaneous helpful weak chorus. I have a combat rest timer tracker here. This is also included in the installer alongside a simple text weak aura for healer mana, which is why I never track mana on my bars. I simply track it via a percentage over here, this small text weak aura. I also have a consumable and racial weak aura underneath my player unit frame. This is also included in the installer. It tells you whether your pots are ready in Mythic Plus and as well as for raid and other stuff. Then we have my LV UI profile. This is the one that controls how all these unit frames look, as well as how the debuffs in you know, the various dungeons are being displayed. For example, the fixate debuff here being displayed on my healer, as well as how the minimap or the buff icons, how they generally look. LVUI is not compulsory. I know some of you out there, you don't like LVUI. The best part about this quasi UI installer, you can pick what you want to install. It's modular, which means it's kind of like an a la carte menu. You go to a restaurant, you pick what you want to install, one click, that's all you need. But more on that later. Also included in the quasi UI installer, Omni CDs. You can see I'm tracking my party's cooldowns over here. Maybe let me pick a more dangerous pull. So you can see over here, I'm tracking my party's cooldowns, right? Who has knockups, who have crowd controls, whether we have uh, party cooldowns like AMZ, we have Spirit Link, um, and we have the uh, Ascendants and you know all these healer cooldowns over here. As well as on the left here, I'm tracking everyone's defensive, offensive capabilities. It tells me as a tank and short caller how fast I can pull, how big I can pull. 
depending on everyone's cooldowns. All these cooldown stuff are related to Omni CD add-on and the Quasi UI installer also has my Omni CD profile kind of pre-installed, so you just need to click it to import it. The Quasi UI installer also comes with my details profile. It's set up to track the current healing done in the current pool, the current damage done in the current combat instance, as well as the damage done overall for the entire keystone, so you know how much you're averaging after each pull for the entire dungeon. All of these are skinned to ensure it fits the aesthetics of the rest of the Quasi UI installer, including fonts and textures. Also, one click to import for details. Aside from that, it also includes other profiles, including my cell setup profile. This is for if you play a healer, this is super helpful. I already made a very in-depth video about this. You can see this on screen as well. This is especially useful for healers who don't like to use LVY unit frames, I also have a cell profile that is targeted at Mythic Plus. But wait, that's not all. Via the installer, you can also import all my routes in the future, all these advanced routes, all the basic W routes, everything that we kind of modify on stream. I would update the Quasi UI installer pack so you can use one click of a button and import all my routes. So this includes all the puck routes and this includes routes that I'm using to push keys beyond title range. But the point is you guys get the real time cutting edge kind of updates of all these routes without having to copy paste anything. Just using the installer, but more on that later. Aside from that, in the future, if we release any form of community Wikoras or Wikoras that I built myself, for example, currently working on this M plus percentage reminder that basically tells you, okay, if you want to skip this uh, spotter skip with invis pot at the end, how many percentage you need so you never ever miscount. So all these work in progress that this Wikoras that I built after this video is released, I will pack it all into the installer and there'll be a change log, a page on my website that covers all the change log for each version of the installer. And again, we'll talk about installation, how to track updates, how to update in the future. But the point is this Quasi UI installer is meant to be future proof. And this is all you need to install in the future. No more copy pasting of strings on various pages on my website. Although those will still exist, I will still update them. So if you manually like to copy paste import strings, that's fine too. I'll leave it to you guys. But this makes it really easy to set up alts, set up new accounts, and fresh characters in World of Warcraft. Now let's talk about installation. Before we even talk about the Quasi UI installer, your step one is to install all the add-ons you want. Based off what I covered earlier in this video, you can pick and choose. And I know it looks like a disorganized mess on screen right now, and that's because I'm trying to show you a fresh installation from the start using the Quasi UI installer. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've installed we chorus. I've installed Plater nameplates that tracks these nameplates. I've installed LVI, which is a real mess as you can see from my action bars and the buffs and everything that's out of alignment. I've also installed details at the bottom right. So these are the basic add-ons I installed. The first thing to do, go to quasi.com slash installer. This is where you get the download, the latest download at all times for the Quasi UI installer. Every single update, every tiny update, I will be posting this installer version here. And the installer version would follow a year, 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 month, month, date, date format. So for example, as of this recording, it's the year 2024, it's October the 17th. So the version for this installer is 2024, 1.0 for October, and 1.7 for the 17th of October. That way you can track whether you have the latest installer or not, and whether you need to update. All updates in the future will also be provided in bullet points in terms of change logs. I will talk about what weak chorus I added, what weak chorus I removed, what I edited. Everything will be very explicit on this single page. So bookmark this page. This is all you need in the future. I will also ping you folks on Discord and channel announcement to explain some of these changes. And you can also then decide whether you want to install them. Sometimes I also release all these bonus Mythic Plus kind of weak auras that we cook on stream in channel announcements, so you don't want to miss that. But the point is, you go to this page, you download the zip file. All you need to do is to extract the Quasi UI folder to your add-ons folder in World of Warcraft. And every time in the future, when you're updating to the latest version, you repeat the same process, you extract it to the add-on folder, they will ask you whether you want to override the files and you always overwrite it. Overriding it just means that you now have the latest strings that on one click later on, you can import them into your game. Now at this point, a lot of you will ask, why don't you allow for auto-update via WoW app via CurseForge? The simple answer is this and it's a little request from me. I maintain a lot of profiles. And if I let it auto-update, I get tons of DM, I get flooded by a lot of pings and tags about, hey, I noticed in this latest update that this string or this weak aura looks different, uh, this feature is missing, this feature, 
uh, seems to be changed. What's going on? I hope to alleviate the burden on myself because there's really a lot of work in maintaining all these by just simply having that installation page that I featured on the website with all the detailed change logs. That way, I don't have to explain to each and every one of you who DM me what's going on, why do you change this? So by making you guys download from the installer page, at least you can look at the bullet points and I will be saved a lot of DMs and hassle in the future. This is just a small request from me. I hope you respect my opinion. So once you have extracted Quasi UI to your add-ons folder, you can do a slash reload and you will see this screen pop up. You can also restart your game or you can type the command slash QUI in your chat in the game and this installer prompt will pop up on screen. This is just the home page. You just click next and here it will say below shows all the add-on profiles that are supported by Quasi UI. Now, if you have installed the add-ons here, under the enabled column, it will say true, which means that Yes, you have installed the add-on and therefore it allows you to install the respective versions of the profile. Quick note, you can see on the title here, the version of the installer is in year, 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 month, month, day, day format, like I mentioned. So one thing you can do is you can click next and just simply go through the installer or you can simply hop around by clicking on go to page. That works too, depending on what you're looking for. So let me start by saying that, all right, I want to install my LVUI. So I go to the page or I can click next and it says, what are you trying to import? Well, I'm playing a tank and I like my current UI scale of 0.64. You can click auto, small, medium, large. Take note, depending on your monitor, depending on your UI scale, you still need to move certain elements around. I've already covered in the respective videos how to resize certain elements, how to drag certain elements to various parts of your screen. Make sure you watch all the in-depth videos linked in the description. I know UI setup, might take a while, but trust me, watch those videos. It will save you a lot of trouble coming to my Discord and asking certain questions because I guarantee you, whatever has been asked in the past three years, I've already covered it in the video. I guarantee you that. Anyway, I'm a tank. I click import and it says, do you want to import? Yes. And it will say, what do you want to import it as? I can just simply overwrite it. In your case, they won't prompt you because it's a fresh installation anyway. You can see upon clicking accept, everything goes into place now which is great. And now it looks a lot better. And you know this because if you bring my mouse to the bottom, all the action bars are hidden as per my UI preferences. I've already went through this in the class week or installation video, why I do this is to keep it clean. You can unhide them. Again, watch the video in the description. And let's say you click next, it brings you to the class week or Now I can also go back to home by pressing index and it brings me back to the home. So I can jump around, right? I can say I want to import MDTs first or I want to import details first. So in this case, I can say, all right, I want to import weak RS now. You can see I don't have any class weak RS at the moment. And let's say I play a shaman. So you would see that on the weak RS page, it says, all right, what is the current version and do we need to update it? So for now, the versions for all the classes, they say zero on this video, but as of the release, when you guys download it, all the versions will be updated to this format. You can see Quasi's The War Within Warrior is 2024, October the 10th. This is the latest update. So all these versions will also follow the same year, 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 month, month, day, day format. And it says zero because I haven't pushed all the updates live, but they will be when you import it. And this way, it tells you whether you have the latest or not. If you do not have the latest, it will tell you what the latest version is. And this column where it says update needed question mark, it will tell you, yes, you need to update it. But in this case, let's say I'm importing the Shaman Week Aura. I've deleted the Shaman Week Aura previously before I recorded this video. And so you can see it says not applicable because I've not installed it. So I click import and it basically prompts Weekora to say import the string, right? One click and I just click import and it basically starts importing. So this kind of skips the entire process of you guys going to my website, copy pasting the string and then sometimes missing out on spaces and whatnot. This simplifies everything, let it load. And after a while, once it finished loading, there you go. You have your class Weekora's in the middle of the screen, which is perfect. On to the next thing. I just started thinking. I want Quasi's routes. So I've segregated them with a drop down menu here with park routes or advanced routes. So let's say I'm into high key pushing. I click on advanced routes and it goes with the year, 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 month, month, day, day format again. And let's say I'm interested in importing Grim Battle. I just click import and you can see basically this Grim Battle route is imported. As simple as that. And if I click next, it says, congratulations, you reached the end of your installer. But 
Just to be clear, you can also opt to install other things on index. For example, you can install details, but because I have my existing details, that's why it looks fine already. But if let's say I were to reset my details, which is what I'm doing now, here, my details are reset at the bottom right. So let's say I import my new details profile. I say import and it says quasi uh, testing and I click okay. You can see now it restores my details profile, right? You've imported it one click, super simple. Then let's say I don't like how all these platers look, right? They're kind of ugly. So um, I want to import my own plater too. Click import here. And what do you want to name it? I'll just say quasi test to delete later. Click okay. And basically it will load. And then shortly after it would reload your World of Warcraft. And now you can see the platers actually are working again. Perfect. I click on index again and I see what else do I want to import. Let's say I want to import Omni CD. I just click import and it asks you, are you sure you want to import or update Omni CD profile? Just click yes and you update uh, to mine. So after the reload, you can see how the plater profiles now look like you know, what you see in my videos, right? They look perfect now. Great. Click on index and see what else you want to import. Let's say I want to import also my big Wix profile, click import, and it'll ask you, the add-on wants to automatically create a new big Wix profile called this, accepting this or swap to it. Just click accept, it'll swap to that. Same thing for Omni CD, click import. It will say, are you sure you want to import or update your Omni CD profile to mine? Just click yes. And again, it will update accordingly. So this is why it's a one click button install for everything you need related to Quasi UI. And that is everything you need to install or set up new characters, new alts, existing characters. And on top of that, stay up to date to the latest changes to my UI. I'm constantly introducing new features to my Plater profile. Recently, we added this new feature that tracks exactly in the cast bar. Let's say in this specific cast of five seconds, your interrupt will be ready at three seconds. It shows that indicator where it will be ready Stuff like that, little improvements, they'll be added over time as I get more feedback from the community. You can just use this installer in the future to stay up to date with the latest changes. Again, all these changes, I would ping the channel announcement in my community Discord. And by the way, if you have questions or feedback or bug reports regarding the Quasi UI installer, you can join us in our Discord community. Link is in the description. You can submit any bug reports, any screenshots, any questions, and we will take a look at it. A very special shout out to Chatter Chats of my community. He's the brains behind all the codes for this QUI installer. Also, Nafo Panda for all the suggestions while we were working through the bugs on Alpha and Beta. Really appreciate it. And more importantly, a special shout out to all the Patreon subscribers, all the YouTube members that you see on screen. This Quasi UI installer and everything I do for the YouTube channel, everything we do for the live stream will not even be possible without your support. You are the reason why I'm able to do what I love to do in life, which is to make great kick-ass content for you. And if you'd like to support us, link to our Patreon is in the description. As a special thank you, all our Patreon subscribers and YouTube members, they get early access to all the free profiles that we put out to this World of Warcraft community. Rest assured, all the UI related profiles, they will always be free to the eternity of time. Also special bonus for Patreon subscribers and YouTube members, you get access to my personalized Mythic Plus Dungeon Vigora packs. These are useful for short calling, as well as having alerts to any magical or physical tank busters or hybrid tank busters coming in in Mythic Plus. I stream every day on Twitch. Feel free to swing by to ask questions about the Quasi UI installer. With that, thank you so much for supporting the community, the user interface, and I'll keep producing great content for you folks. Subscribe if you'd like to see more great content on this YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.